Alright so boys, the ultimate team of the season is officially here boys. I want to talk about the only investment everyone should be making with at least if you have a budget of 500k to a million coins. Of course if you have a bit under, I will cover some different investments as well. But this specific investment boys will at least double, sometimes triple your coins in literally one to two weeks. Drop a like, do subscribe of course you do help my channel grow and let's get in the video. Alright so boys, the content today on a Friday. Have a look in the background to brand new evolution the first one being a silver evo have a look in the background for dodgy g 95 rated romanian center back from spurs 94 pace 91 defending 97 physical this silver evo in my opinion is very good and obviously we see this every week the red for champs evolution you get a plus one rating obviously plus one passing plus two balance plus one defending and the card is decent but again i don't think it's anything crazy and content wise in my opinion very very good we see felipe anderson if i go on footbin and we do type in felipe anderson this sbc is so well priced in my opinion five star skills four star week for 115k the card is very very good i do think as a super sub this is a must complete sbc next up of course the big one tiago silva 95 rated end of an era priced around if i do type his name in i think is around 500 and 50k actually not cheaper 466,000 coins three star three star the play star pluses are decent nothing crazy but the card itself very very good 97 defending 93 physical and 90 pace obviously if you do support chelsea this is a must do sbc obviously boys you are here to make millions of coins and straight away i'm gonna get straight into the investors boys the main investment of today's video i want to talk about why you should be buying these and of course what profit you should be expecting how many cards can you go all in or maybe should you buy 50 and just chill in my opinion guys yes i do still think you can be going all in all in means you basically put all your coins into this investment and you wait a week two weeks three weeks four weeks and they're going to double at least triple in plot and price in literally a few weeks and the investment is team of the season cards right now you can see in the background the 25k if I do switch my screen, any team of the season, not team of the season plus, normal team of the season, have a look in the background, boys. They're literally 28,000 coins selling instant already. So, guys, you're going to be asking how many coins have you invested in team of the season? Of course, guys, this is my main account. I do have around 2 million coins if I do sell everything. Nothing special. Like I said, I did get banned right at the start of the game for like 11 million coins in the first month. But, of course, I do have three other accounts as well combined around 25 to 30 million coins after everything sells so obviously my main investment yes it's team of the season card right now like i said the 28,000 coins selling instant yesterday i did buy them around 21 to 22,000 coins if i do quickly show you boys i made a post in my discord and you can see i said i would like to do a massive team of the season club stock right now they're 23k we can aim 22,000 coins pc 1k under market price obviously i kind of had an idea what was going to happen everyone was waiting for friday to buy team of the season and of course as soon as discords people started saying buy team of the seasons everyone buys it at the same time and obviously the price just again goes up a lot so that's why i said to do a massive club stock yesterday with team of the season cards at 23 right now 28 you're going to be asking can we still double our coins with team of the season cards now if I do go on footbin, you're going to see FIFA 23, goalkeeper, 88 rated team of the season, Blake, went from, obviously right now the date is 31st of May, so around 31st, he was 19,000 coins last year. You can see around, what was it, around 44,000 coins, 19th of June, and obviously peaked at around 60,000 coins, which by the way is max price, 26th of June. So yes, team of the season cards did actually go max price, for example, Bremer, if we do go to FIFA 23, we type in Bremer, you're going to see the exact same graph happen with Bremer. Obviously, Bremer went from 80,000 coins to max price around 115,000 coins. Boys, any team of the season you look at, previous FIFAs, they went from 20k to 60k, 70k, 80k, 90k. So yes, I still think you guys can buy right now at 28k. 
Obviously, it's a little bit risky, but honestly, I still think they're going to reach easily 40, 50, even 60K. Of course, the reason we're buying these, when they go out of packs, we're going to keep getting Team of the Season requirements. And obviously, there's not going to be any more supply with Team of the Season. And that means demand over supply and the prices just shoot up. So yes, 28K, obviously, you did miss the low point. I've been telling you all week to buy these around 19 20, 21, 22. Obviously, if you are in my Discord, we paid 17,000 coins around two weeks ago. But like I said, it's not an issue. You can still pay up to 27, 28K. I still think it's fine. You can see they're basically 28, 750 right now. I did pay 22. Yes, they're up in price. But like I said, guys, I still think there is profit. So team of the season cards should be, honestly, your main investment. So like I said, guys, that is my investment around 30 million coins spread to three to four different accounts I do have. So I'm expecting a really, really good return. And of course, target price went to sell these. Honestly, around one to three weeks from now should be fine. If they don't rise, like I said, it's whatever. But previous FIFA, FIFA 23, they went up in price. FIFA 24, not FIFA 24, FIFA 22, FIFA 21. Every single time they went out of packs, they absolutely flew. Now, boys, I want to quickly cover for the reason being Sunday, we might see a casino SBC. Obviously, if we do see an icon, for that can actually still make you some profit, especially if you are watching this video and basically you are on a low budget. So I'm talking about if you have 50k, 100k, 200k, obviously you can't really buy a lot of Team of the Seasons. So you can actually aim for gold rated fodder. So the first investment I think is very, very low risk. 85 fodder right now, min price at 2.2. Obviously gold for open bids, 2,100 coins open bids is a zero risk long-term investment. And of course you can actually use a filter like this to be winning 85s on open bid 2.1, 2.2, and you want to use 9.9, 10,000 coins, click search, and you're going to see in the background pages and pages and pages of 85 for the four, 2,100 coins. Obviously, 85s, this is for lower budget. We have 86 for that right now. You can see the 3.7. Obviously, if these drop to around 3.6, which by the way is minimum price, I do like this. A filter you can use for 86s, similar with 85s, is very simple. Min price you want to have a 3.6, max price 3.7, 9.9, 10,000 coins. Click search, and you're going to see in the background Chesney, Trend, Mane, Bad Hill, Savage, Cruz, etc. Min price 3.6. Obviously, I do like that as an investment as well. Like I said, if you're watching this and you don't have millions of coins, we have 87 rated for that as well min price but you boys need to understand for fodder to rise in price what do you need you need a good casino spc and i do have again not leaks but someone in my discord called lucky foot sometimes he does get really really early information of course he told me we're going to be getting so many spcs this week and i do think fodder can actually do very very well 87s obviously 5.2 right now open bids 5.1 is obviously very good or 5.2 that is min price 87s, 5.2, I think long-term midweek, they can easily go above 6.5 easily. 88s, if you can get these around 6.5, I actually do like that. 87s, around 16.5, and 90 rated gold for that, around 17,000 coins. If not, that is not an issue. And boys, I want to quickly talk about something. So I told you to buy team of the season cards. You can see right now, I mean, I think they're pushing 30,000 coins, 30,000 coins, Again, not really, not just yet. 29,000 coins, I'm pretty sure it's instant, as you can see in the background. So, instead of paying 29k for Team of the Season cards, what you can actually do is very simple. I mean, this one is a little bit lower risk, and I do think it makes sense. You want to type in Golovin. Obviously, he has got a Team of the Season, 94 rated. So, Golovin is priced around 30... I actually, he's actually gone up in price. He's 34.5. Earlier, he was around 32, so right now 34.5, unfortunately up a little bit, but you can see open bids around 31, 232, I think this one makes a little bit more sense. First of all, he's got a higher price range than other team of the season cards. Second of all, 94 rated, obviously if team of the season cards do drop, 94 Golovin is higher rated, so again, you're safer to be buying this card. And third of all, like I said, the price difference between normal team of the season and obviously Golovin is around four to five thousand coins, which is not really a lot. So try to aim 30, 31, 32, 33, 
for Golovin. I actually do not mind that. I do think it's a little bit smarter to buy Golovin long term as well. You don't have to worry about the price range, etc. So, Timothy isn't covered. Yes, that is my main investment fodder. We have covered 86s, 85s, 87s, 88s. So I do still think with the Icon SBC, a midweek, and the Bonero SBCs, etc., fodder can still do very very well let me end the video off boys we've shown you a few different investments i still think you can be doing and of course the profit we have made in the vip discord so boys a nice and little recap if you boys are still confused what you should be buying so if your budget is under 100,000 coins i would personally be buying 86 fodder open bids 3.6 i think that is a no-brainer investment if your budget is between 200 to 300,000 coins i would buy the following a few 88 rated cards and obviously a few 87 rated cards open bids min price the risk is very very low you boys already know this i showed you a mass bidding filter use them 88 around 6.5 87s 5.2 open bid very very low risk higher budget 89s obviously i do think they're going to rise with the exchanges and of course we do have a end of an era SPC coming tomorrow as well so midweek i do expect 89s to go to at least 20,000 coins again so obviously buy a few send to the club send a few to the transfer list the main investment is obviously guys team of the season cards around 29k 28k yes you still can buy golovin is probably a better idea higher rated yes a little bit more expensive but you're covered with a higher price range obviously the card is higher rated so again the risk is pretty low on golovin so i do like him as an investment as well but in general the main focus should be boys team of the season cards right now any questions you do have of course do ask me in the comment section down below let me show you the profit we have made this week in the vip discord all right so boys with the la liga copy investments i want to fly through a few profits you can see in the background i did post a massive list in the vip discord obviously in the investment channel as you can see in the background so a few cards which absolutely flew i'm going to go through a few individual cards you can see nico williams from 26 000 coins if i go on fubin and we type in nico williams he is right now click on his name around 36 000 coins obviously i said his brother as well inaki williams at 30 000 coins his brother is priced around 37 000 coins the first two cards on the post pablo obviously i said 17k is Pablo actually up in price right now? I know he was 21k earlier. Has he dropped any further? Around 19. So again, earlier today he was 21, which by the way is still decent profit. We have obviously Rafinha. I said 31,000 coins. Rafinha, winter guard cards right now is priced around, click on his name, 40 thousand coins you can see in the background the profit boys is very very nice you join you check the list and you buy any card i post scrolling down a little bit further you can see Gimenez 88 rated 38 thousand coins we suggested Gimenez right now if i type his name i'm pretty sure this card is close to max price 58 thousand coins as you can see in the background we have obviously gula 89 rated 31 thousand coins how much is Gula right now? Gula is priced around, click on his name, 38,000 coins. Boys, you can see the post in the background. And again, the profit on Discord is so, so easy, boys. All you have to do, click the link, join up, and obviously buy the cards we say, and we tell you exactly when to sell. We have Food Tray, Hero Card, 26,000 coins. If I do type his name in on Footbin, Food Tray, 88 rated right now from 26 to 32,000 coins. Anyone else from this list? Rodrigo, we said 129k. Rodrigo right now is priced around. Let's have a look on Fabian Rodrigo, obviously 80A rated. Click on his name from 129k to 160,000 coins, guys. Literally, prime examples, guys, how you can make millions of coins by literally checking the investment channel obviously picking any card for example rudiger we said between 92 to 95k right now rudiger is literally 110,000 coins again the list literally goes on and on and on you can see in the background bellingham we said 139,000 coins how expensive is this bellingham team of the group stage right now again boys i could go on and on and on the profit and obviously the proof is in the background bellingham is 168 thousand coins up a very very good amount and by the way guys let me show you the feedback channel in the background very nice very simple people are making five mil one mil two mil three mil 
every single month the link will be down in the pinned comment down in the comment section guys but of course let's get back to the video and talk about a few more investments and obviously some leaked spcs coming soon